If someone has ever left your company and left behind so many Confluence pages under their names, and you wish that there was a way to do a change of those owners in bulk, well, today's video is a perfect video for you because I'm gonna walk you through a cool new feature that at last and recently released. Let's jump into Confluence and let's take a look. But before we do, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to you. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to check out those links down in the description. I got my merch store, paid courses, free courses, my book that just came out, and of course, all the other different ways that you can help support this channel. Let's jump into it. This video is sponsored by NASA, not another stand-up app. If you're tired of unproductive stand-ups that head nowhere, then this is your solution. Keep your team on track and meetings concise. All right, so here I am inside a Confluence, and the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go into a space, and I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things that you might not even be aware of. So if I go into a particular space, there's gonna be all the pages that are made by people, right? We all know how Confluence works. But have you noticed that there's this new content manager over here on the left? And so this content manager gives you a holistic view of pretty much all the different pages, who the owner is, when they were last updated, when they were last viewed, and how many views these particular pages have gotten. Now this is pretty cool. This will work whether you're gonna change the owner or not. This just gives you a good bird's eye view of this particular space and all the different pages and all the different activities that are happening in those pages within that space. That's pretty cool. But we're not here to learn about that. We're here to deal with the fact that Mitch Davis is an unlicensed user. He's no longer with my company and I don't want him to be the owner of these pages anymore. I wanna transfer ownership of these pages to basically whoever replaced Mitch Davis, right? And so naturally, or normally I should say, you would have to go into each page, right? I would have to click like this, Come over here, see the owned by Mitch Davis, click on these three little dots and change the owner. But in a good company, right, you're gonna have thousands and thousands of pages, not just four or five like the ones I have in this demo. So you're gonna get a little bit of carpal tunnel if you try to do it that way. And we don't wanna get carpal tunnel here, right? We're, we're all about efficiency. So this is the new feature, check this out. So we're gonna go back to our content manager and you gotta make sure, a little disclaimer, you gotta make sure that the users are unlicensed, meaning they no longer exist in your instance. Because if the user does have an active, unsuspended or undeactivated license, then this is not gonna work. The user must not have a license to Confluence, and better yet, the user should either be suspended or deactivated. They shouldn't exist anymore, because if they do, again, this will not work. So this is primarily a feature for when people leave your company and you wanna change it, right? If you wanna change the owners for active people, unfortunately, as of right now, and as far as I could tell, it doesn't work. But if it does, if you figured out a way, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, my studying, my research has shown this only works if somebody has left, right? So we have an unlicensed user. So let me show you how easy it is though, once we do have this. So over here, um, you may want to do a quick filter though, right? Because you may have pages that belong to various individuals that may still be licensed. So doing it from this main page is not going to do you any good. This particular case, again, is just very special because all the pages are owned by someone that's no longer with the company. But in a real world scenario, I would expect to have dozens and dozens and not hundreds of authors in this content manager. And we don't want that, right? We only want to see the people that have left. So what we can do is come to the filters over here and click on pages without active owners, right? And now we will only see the pages that don't have an active owner. And we can either cherry pick and pick the pages that you want, or we can basically select this little checkbox up here and it's gonna select everything, which is what I wanna do right now. And once I do that, you will notice that there's a change owner button right there. So all you need to do is click on it, type in the name of someone else that is there. I'm gonna give these all over to me right here, click change owner, and just magically all those pages now have disappeared from here because they now have an active owner. And if I clear my filter, then you will see that all those pages now belong to me. And this is really, really easy, right? Instead of going, again, page by page, you just now need to go space by space, find anybody who's not active, and then change the ownership to somebody that is going to be now the responsible candidate for that page. Well, that's it for this video. As you can see, super, super easy, super, super cool. And if you haven't used it, I highly recommend you use it. Go do a little bit of cleanup. A lot of people just don't clean up their confluences, right? And while the owner is, I have mixed feelings about it, it's still good 
cleanup, right? It's still good due diligence to go through your pages. And if somebody has left the company, change the owner to somebody who's still there because ultimately Confluence is a living space, right? It's where everything is not just a static information that somebody created eons ago, right? You want your team to be updating and collaborating in real time. And so these pages should be owned by somebody who's going to take accountability and responsibility to make sure that the data is always being refreshed and updated. So this is an easy way to avoid carpal tunnel and be able to do this in bulk. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, that subscribe button is right there waiting for you to click. And it's all free and it helps the channel grow tremendously. And finally, those links down in the description, check them out. I got my link tree in there. The very first link on that link tree is my brand new book. So if you want to show your support, go get the book, go get the merch, go get the courses. If you want to take your skills to the next level, lots of stuff available for you. So check out that link down below. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And before we end this video, I want to remind you that this video was brought to you by NASA, not another standup app. Detect and resolve blockers effortlessly by flagging issues that need follow up after your daily standup and ensure a smooth progress.